Cornell. Hello, Katya. How are you today? Hi. Very good. You have an amazing background. I love it. Thank you. I just try to have something that doesn't blend me in with the background. Yeah, <laughs> lovely. amazing, lovely. <laughs> Trying to get used to these home offices. So I want to say congratulations on this wonderful, powerful film. I would like to watch it again, but I don't know if I could handle all that sadness again. I will say uh, for you, Cornell, what was it like transitioning this from the stage play to the uh, the film adaptation? Was there any challenges for you or any perks that you had moving it from stage to film? Of course that you have to concentrate on the cinematic approach, how you can create a, a family drama to in, in a interesting on, mm -hmm. on, on screen. And of course that we use technically a gimbal, which is, which is like a tool more for sport or more for uh, music videos. Mm -hmm. We need to create this kind of spiritual mesmerizing camera work all way long. So that was somehow my idea to represent the lost soul Mm. So all the way long. But to make the movie or the play, it was a bit like the same. In that sense, it's a very personal story. Me and Kara sharing an experience with a miscarriage, which is far mm. from the movie. But we want to break our silence and, and wanted to tell the story for break other silences mm -hmm. as well. So the reason why we do it, it was exactly the same with the play and with the movie. Now, Furukata, I would like to ask you, this is such a personal script, it seems like, with so many moments that are very hard hitting. Was there a moment in Vanessa Kirby's performance that really stands out to you as one of your highlights or one of your personal favorite moments from her work? I, my favorite moment is when she finds the apple seed on the bus. Because for me, it was so much like the point of reference, like we have to feel, because as you said, it can be seen as a sad story, mm -hmm. but there is also something else. We wanted to, you know, celebrate the love and the grace she feels, you know, the biggest love ever happened to her towards her baby. So I think therefore the apple and that moment was so important for me to feel this kind of light, which, you know, brings you through the whole story, her transition to be a stronger person and for the audience to understand that within these stories, there is also grace and beauty and love. And we have to uh, give space and, and we have to give space to those feelings too. I know, I, I love that. I think you really encapsulated that, that you want to help them, but sometimes let them help themselves a little bit as well. I thought that was such a powerful thing. Now, Cornell, you spoke about your camera work in the beginning of this, you know, just the film throughout, but especially in that beginning, was the intention always to make that one take, that one fluid opening like that? Or was that something that kind of came up later on in the production? No, I mean, it was like a concept, but to end landed that concept, it was a long journey. So when I read 35 page of birds, you can imagine, you know, like, <laughs> what am I doing with those pages? Mm -hmm. And such a variety of emotions. And how can I represent not to be cheap, cheesy, manipulative, voyeuristic? You know, I mean, it's mm -hmm. so many aspects you don't want to be. So, but then who, what, who I would like to be? So yeah. we, went, we ended up with this spiritual camera work I already talked about. But in the same time, we really would like to experience the physical journey of a birth as well and to be as close to Vanessa as possible and close to her performance as possible and also live with her which is so important to represent her inner journey through the movie later on so you have to be a little bit like like Martha after the experience. And that was so important for me. And she was the best partner and she really gave everything for that scene, which is which we basically shoot on the first day. 
Wow, that's what a way to start yeah. production with that. Yeah. Now, you know, speaking of the intensity of that scene and probably this whole production seems like it was heavy. Was there anything you did on set to make it feel a little bit lighter? Did you guys sing songs in between moments or make jokes? Because I can imagine this was heavy and you seem like a very fun energy. So how did you find the balance of that? I mean, it's it, 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 it cannot be anything like except that you know i mean if even if you are work on a dark material which i think it's not a dark material no no it's, it's, about, but it it needs to get rest you know and needs to create safe space somehow and our set was a safe space the actors can be really careful to each other but also we celebrate life always during the creating this movie yeah, it was kind of spiritual. Really, everyone wanted to, you know, live up for like how to do this the most gentle and perfect way. I think it was a great, there was a great care somehow. And we have the best for it, Ellen Burstyn. I mean, she was, <laughs> she was like really caring everyone. Like the mother of, mother of all everyone. of us. Like yes. really, like if you had any problem, like she would come and like relax, yeah. it's going to be okay. Really? Well, that's that's amazing to hear because I, I you do correctly say this. This movie is heavy at times, but it isn't a sad story. There is a positive message. So I'm glad to see that you guys wanted to keep that energy up. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. This was so wonderful, such a powerful film. I can't wait for more people to see this. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you guys. Have a good day.